Thank you for joining us tonight. We are hearing from many viewers 65 and older with vaccine appointment woes, wondering why their appointment was rescheduled, sometimes multiple times, or why teachers are getting vaccinated while they're still waiting for their first dose. And Madeline O'Neill answers those questions, diving into how scheduling works at different hospitals and clinics, and what you should keep in mind when making an appointment. Maddie? SSM Health is now allocating about 20% of its vaccines to educators, saying the time is right and there is bound to be some overlap between groups. While other vaccinators, such as UW Health, are still focusing on that 65 plus population. We've told you about differences between the two health systems, including that SSM has a network of vaccination clinics across the state, but there are similar challenges that all vaccinators face when scheduling appointments. At our age, you know, it's it's a serious problem. Entering the pandemic, we didn't know what we were getting into. We've pretty much been homebodies. <laughs> it's more than a loss of travel for Dorothy Hodges. I haven't had a dentist appointment. I don't get hair appointments, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Now, a year later, we know vaccine appointments are our way out. Quick coat. But then comes juggling, getting everyone in. I was so elated when I got one in January. Uh, Dorothy's second dose appointment four weeks later was canceled the day before. And I guess I'm not alone. For example, last week, UW Health had to reschedule about 4,000 first dose appointments. We're discouraged right along with you that that needed to take place. UW Health's Dr. Matt Anderson explains they were booking patients 65 and older to meet a request by the state to get them vaccinated by March 1st when new groups became eligible. Everything, obviously the supply didn't work out. Now UW Health is adjusting, taking into account that they're only getting about a quarter of their request. So we've now been able to recalibrate a bit Basing appointments on supply estimates is about what Unity Point Health Meritor and SSM Health have been doing as well, not having to do any major rescheduling. If we learn that we would be getting more, we can, uh, uh, on a very short notice, open more appointments fairly quickly. We all have to play sort of this wait and see game for appointments and for vaccine. Unity Point Health Meritor's Emergency Preparedness Safety Manager says the state is now letting them know their vaccine allocation for two weeks instead of one. There you go. Every little bit of information helps. But scheduling is still a balancing act. It is very challenging. The vaccinators we spoke with get between about a quarter to a half of the doses they request. Really, these are problems that are, are just, we're all facing because the demand is really high and the supply isn't quite there yet. Group Health Cooperative of South Central Wisconsin is getting ready for a projected increase in supply. Uh, the signs are favorable that things will open up and that all the systems in town, including GHC, uh, will be able to vaccinate a lot more people. Hello. The GHC site here has shifted from testing to vaccinating. Another sign of progress. All done. Dorothy had her appointment for a second dose at a GHC site rescheduled. So what happened? Trying to relax on arms. Vaccinators explain the state sends enough second doses to match first doses already distributed, so no one should be left hanging. You're welcome. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Chris Kastman says that GHC hasn't had to reschedule, except for when a major winter storm in our country interrupted delivery. Uh, but luckily, all those folks that uh, were temporarily delayed, we were able to uh, vaccinate uh, as soon as possible. That includes Dorothy, who was able to exit the clinic a week delayed this Wednesday with a second dose and a lighter heart. Just really. Vaccinators are encouraging you to fill out interest forms for your providers, but also be willing to get the vaccine wherever you can. DHS does have a registry you can sign up on online. We have more on that on our website as well. Another question we've been getting is why isn't there a list of high risk patients to call when there is a cancellation? The short answer is it's just not feasible to keep track of who is most at risk when trying to efficiently distribute the vaccine to everyone.